Celebrate Mercy and Empower Change, which are two Muslim American groups, they raised more than one hundred and fifty thousand dollars from uh, over three hundred or thirty six hundred donors in just over two days. Uh, this money was enough to pay for the funeral expenses of of some of the victims of the Tree of Life Congregation synagogue shooting, um, where an anti Semitic Christian killed eleven people after shouting, "All Jews must die." Um, this money is being raised and will be sent to the the victims' families. Now that's good. So yes, yes, this, it's, so, it's very good. So let's read the title first before we summarize it. So Muslims cover all uh, funeral expenses for Jewish victims of anti-Semitic Christian. Um, so yeah, this is very nice. I mean, it's yeah. good that we also cover these things. We just we don't just talk about the negative. Uh, things that happens in the name of you know when religious people do negative things we also cover the positive things i mean there's nothing right. you could say against well, this right go on yeah well i mean uh, unfortunately the whole reason that this started was because somebody was anti-semitic yeah yeah but this is this somebody is, who believed that, that their religion was superior to another um was there was it because of religion that they were anti-semitic or was it just because they were alt-rightish or something like that I think it was. Well, most, when, I, I think well, it was mostly racism then. Yeah. I mean, it, it very well may have been mostly racism. I mean, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's uh, it's religiously motivated. And mm -hmm. in in my opinion, in my my opinion, it is. Um, I don't tell a lot of people this, but I I grew up in a in a white nationalist family with with KKK lineage, with uh, Aryan Brotherhood, Aryan Circle people in my in my family, in my immediate family, mm -hmm. and n not one that I met at any meeting, at any gathering or what have you was was not a Christian. Right. Um. Yeah, but we do have a lot of examples of anti-Semitic anti-Semitic views that is not uh, from religion as well. You're 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 right, but most of those are against cultural differences, though, aren't they? Most of them are based on race hate hate of like racism. I see, I yeah. see. So yeah. just as a people, as a whole. Yeah, but right. but this this thing is a uh, so I mean. I just want to add just some nuance to this, and this is not, just to be clear, this is not to take away from this at all. This is completely positive. There's nothing you could say about this that is negative, okay? These are good people doing good things. Uh, I just want to tell people to be careful to give credit to the Muslims who did this, but not to Islam, okay? this What this shows is that People are better than their religion, okay? Because right. Muslims are capable of humanitarian and you know lovely things and being kind to their fellow human beings. The reason why Muslims are capable of doing that because Muslims are capable of being better than their own religion. Because Islam by itself is anti-Jew, is anti-Jewish. Islam as a religion hates Jewish people. It's against Jewish people. It's a it's a racist, bigoted ideology. Well mostly bigoted, not racist, because it hates them because of their religion mostly rather than their race. But it, and but this is when you when I say that, it's not to say that these to take away from any, anything that these people have done. Okay, these people are lovely people, and these people should right. be celebrated because, in fact, they might. We should celebrate them even more than most people that are the, that are this good because they have they 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 survived some brainwashing from the religion as well. Like might have been harder. Like this is a they come from a religion that historically was very anti-Jewish, right? And and based on based on its own scripture, based on its own hadith, is very anti-Jewish. Right, so to come right. out of that and be able to not only be kind to uh, Jewish people, but also, um, you know, raise so much money for them and be, you know, commit such an act of love like this, that that yeah. that, that 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 needs to be celebrated, right? But when what people try to do is take advantage of this and see, like, look, Islam is not anti-Jewish, and I say no, that's not the way to say it. Muslims are not all anti-Jewish. Most Muslims right. are not anti-Jewish. Islam, exactly. is an, Islam is anti-Jewish. Go on, sorry. But the problem is, is that 
the co-founder of Empower Change, the uh, Linda Sarsour, she she is a Muslim. She is that person who is saying that it is because of Islam that they are doing this because mm-hmm. she, you know she's claiming that that Islam says that they should uh, um, do something to strengthen the the relationship with Allah and you're not supposed to flaunt your money and that you're supposed to uh, um, yeah. help others uh, help victims and 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 so on and so forth. No, okay. So any the messages in the Quran or the Hadith where it says you have to take care of, um, as, you know, victims and stuff is talking about Muslims when it says that. Muslims, okay. exactly. Yeah. But so, so, so this is just another example of a person who was likely converted with misinformation. Oh no, Lin, okay. So no, Linda Sarsour, she's she's she's, she's, she was, don't she's born, to her. She was born Muslim. Um, yeah. She's born Muslim, okay. and she's also she's also been you know very friendly to some very anti-Semitic people. But anyways, uh, let's, so, the, th- the thing so. is that let's focus on this one because she is uh, she's taking at that so she's taking people's kindness and spinning it. This is a problem when we when we don't separate people from ideology, because then the instead of giving credit to the people that do something good, we're spinning it and we're giving it credit to a religion that has always been anti-Jewish, you know what I mean? Always been against the, against the very thing that these people are doing. Just to let you know, like, this is, this is also Hadith, okay? This is also Hadith, so you could look it up in Hadith and Hadith books. Just, Islamic Hadith specifically tells you that there will be a time where, where Muslims will kill all the Jews, okay? And their Jews will be hiding in the, you know, and the trees and uh, behind trees and behind rocks uh, and the trees and the rocks are going to speak out and tell the Muslims like Muslims come here they a are Jew, a Jew is hiding behind me come and kill him okay yep. this is authentic hadith in Islam okay the, the Islam compares Christians and Jews to dogs and apes right and I, I don't there's so, who, so, so according to the Quran and according to the Hadith, who are supposed, who's supposed to ta- uh, carry out these killings? Who's supposed to be the executioner? Muslims. Okay, so Linda Sarsour, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, I mean. Uh, okay. The, so, 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 it, so, if she, I'm not, and I'm not saying that what she's doing is wrong, but I just want to point out that if she believe, if she fundamentally believes her doctrine and the the commands given by her God, then when the time comes, all of those families that she has just saved money for and she felt sorry for and she is grieving for and that she feels legitimately sorry for, she will be commanded by the very God that she loves and worships to kill those people. Yeah, but I, I I can tell you most of the most most Muslims would never even dream about doing something like that. Okay, again, and most exactly, people and, most and people are goes, better than their religions. Exactly, and that just goes to show the delusion of 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 the religion and of you know two thousand year old uh you know doctrine, two thousand year old uh philosophy, so to speak. If you if you even want to call it that. Right. The, I mean, the good thing about this uh, this thing that these Muslims did is for you know. I don't. So it is for people that are, you know, because a lot of people take their hatred against Islam a bit too far, and it translates to hatred towards people, right? And I think acts like this help people see Muslims differently, right? Because again, no matter how much I hate Islam, no matter how much we hate Islam, no matter how much we are against Islam, that doesn't translate to Muslims being bad people. Most of the time it doesn't translate to that, right? Too often it do- too often it does, but most most of the time it doesn't. Even when it does a little bit, it's too often, right? Uh, but most of the time it doesn't because most people are better than their scripture. And acts like this helps us see that because Muslims, just like most people, are not just influenced by Islam. Muslims, just like other people, are influenced by so many different things around them, by by different competing ideologies, by comp- by different books, by by what they watch, by who they are, so by their own sense of sympathy, natural sense of sympathy. It's more. Somebody saying not all. It's not just not all. It's not most. Okay. It's beyond not all. Right. So. 
you ha- you have to really be able to separate people from an uh, from an evil barbaric ideology that is Islam. We, we have to when it comes to people, we have to be very charitable and very kind and very understanding. Okay, even the deluded ones, right? We have to see them, look at them with sympathy rather than hate. When it comes to the ideology, I, I an ideology as hateful and barbaric as Islam, there is no room for. Uh, not hating it, you know. If, if, if you if you have any love for humanity, you would hate Islam. Okay, so go all out against Islam. Go, you know, but but separate that for the way, from the way you think about or treat Muslims as people. And as and as you can see, people's just because somebody is labels themselves as a Muslim, it doesn't mean that they are as hateful or as barbaric, or as violent as Islam is. And some people might say, well, if you're not following Islam, how are you a Muslim? And I always say, like, the, 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 what, what, the way, the definition of a Muslim is not somebody that follows every single rule of Islam. The definition of a Muslim is whoever believes in Allah and the Quran as direct word of God and Muhammad as his last prophet. Um... But just because, you you know, but most Muslims have never read the Quran. Most Muslims have never read the Hadith. And even if they read the Quran, they, they either, most of them either try to come up with excuses for why these barbaric verses are there, or they leave Islam, or they try to ignore it. They just put it in a different part of their mind, you know, not think about it, right? Um, and, I mean, if that if the definition of a Muslim is somebody that follows every single rule of Islam, then you're gonna, you're not gonna have, you know, you're probably gonna have less than a thousand Muslims around the, on the entire planet. Um, that that's a very strict definition, and just like the definition of Christianity is not somebody that follows all the all the rules of Christi- uh, of of the Bible. The different of uh, the different of a Christian, sorry, the, the 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 definition of a Christian is somebody that believes in Jesus as the Lord or Savior. You might say, well, if, okay, but if you really think that this is the Word of God, then why wouldn't you follow it? That's illogical. Well, yeah, I agree, that's illogical. But guess what? Most people are not that logical. I mean, when I was a Muslim, I couldn't understand why most people are not reading the Quran. But I guess that's because I'm more logical. And that's why I left it eventually. Um, let, do you have any comments on this, Jim? Uh, yeah, I mean, a, a lot of people's beliefs, you know, doesn't necessarily stem from their doctrine, but it stems from the teachings of the doctrine. You know, I mean, there was a lot that I didn't know about my own my own Bible when I was a believer, and there's a lot of Christians who currently don't know a lot about the, about the Bible, and they're they're still currently believers. They've been believers their whole life because they depend on somebody else to read interpret and to deliver these messages in a way that it is easy to comprehend in the 20 you know in the 21st century but the problem with that is that as i mentioned earlier it gives a tendency for these uh priests and preachers and pastors and imams and any other religious figure to um to uh you know that they all they deliver is what I call the top forty hits. You know the good stuff, like from the Bible. You know you got Adam and Eve, you've got Noah's Ark, you have Noah's Exodus with the slaves, um, you have Jesus, you have you know his miracles, feeding the five thousand, you know dying and and resurrecting, and you know all you have are the feel good stories about the Bible. You know you hear about you know Jesus healing the blind, but you don't hear about Jesus calling a woman a dog because because of her not her nationality you know so all you get are the good parts of the bible so it, it, and, like, and like people like people like linda the the co-founder of of empower you know she she is one of, the, of those people i can almost guarantee you that does not understand their own doctrine and relies on somebody else to interpret it for her and therefore as a as a consequence you, you know you you don't learn about the rest of the doctrine, arguably the most important parts of it. Uh, Tim in the Facebook live chat is saying Muslims with their Quran and Christians with their Bible have to believe every word because they believe it to be the word of God. Yeah, but that's the that's the only part that they believe in it. They, they, but the thing is they believe it's the word of God, but most of them don't know what the word of God says. I mean, I lived in Iran most of my life and I could tell you that we had the Quran 
uh, nobody read the Quran. Most people didn't read the Quran. Everybody had a Quran in their home. We did. We did. We kissed it. We waved it around our head for good luck. We put it at uh, every. We brought it out every New Year as a decoration. But what we didn't read it. Even in school, when we had Islamic teaching, we had different parts of the Quran highlighted for to study. Like we had like basically diff- our textbook for the uh, for Islamic studies, which just had verses in it. We didn't just read the Quran cover to cover. And even when you do uh, Quranic recitations, you recite it in Arabic. You have no fucking idea what it, what are you reading. And even when you even when you're reading it to pass an exam, you don't you're, you're just reading it. To be able to pass an exam, there's nothing that nobody really thinks about these things. Most people don't. Yeah. Most people don't. If you, if I make up a verse and tell them it's in the Quran, they believe me, because they don't take it seriously enough to read it. They, most people don't even read the the entire Quran cover to cover. And in fact, right. Beach in the live chat is saying, is it possible these Muslims that raised uh, the money are not aware uh, they curse Jews in their prayers because they are they're speaking in Arabic? I mean, even the Arab-speaking ones don't don't think that most of them don't think that they're cursing the Jews, right? Because uh, you know, it's just they just recite it. They don't think about it. Most Muslims don't think about these things that much. Um, I mean, it's just like most Christians don't know their Bible. It's the same thing, right? Uh, Beach in the comment section says, "So would the question to Muslims be, would you do anything the Quran commands?" Well, I mean, they say yes, but then when you tell, when you show them a verse that tells them to stone somebody, they say, "Oh, this." They come up with a gymnastic dumb argument because they don't, uh, because they're better than it. Nathan is saying, "I'm saying this guy is trying to validate religion by repeating the same thing." Are you? T- if you're talking about me, I'm not validating religion. I'm I, religion. All, both Christianity and Islam, and mostly Islam, is barbaric. You know, there's no excuse for Islam. Islam is a barbaric, um, stupid, you know, violent religion that needs to die. There's no excuse for it. There's no excuse for Christianity. There's no excuse for uh, Islam. There's no excuse for Judaism or Hinduism. These things need to die as an ideology. What I'm saying is that most uh, Muslims are bad Muslims because they're good people. Right, most Christians are bad Christians because they're good people. What right. I'm saying is, most Muslims ignore the religion. Most Christians ignore the religion. I'm not making any excuses for the religion. The religion itself needs to die. Right, but but it does nothing. The re- religion does nothing but enable bad people to do bad things without without you know, uh, I mean, without losing sleep. Really, you know, with uh, with the promise of a reward right tim is saying i agree 100 percent uh there's no excuse for any religion exactly we did uh theo mike is saying we did many things with that quran except re- read it <laughs> best sound bite ever moose is saying what do you think uh of protests well those protests i think uh are not relevant to the news so let's not cover this here Okay, so let me see if the, what the top comments on Facebook are. Um, okay, Mari is saying, why are people choosing to be ignorant here? I honestly think that uh, that this was a decent thing to do. I think she's responding to some other comments. Uh, so I honestly think this was a decent thing to do in light of what is happening in the U.S. and all over the world these days. I mean, really, people are actually trying to show that they care and you are just being a bunch of assholes in the comment sections. How about you do something valuable instead of complaining about people doing something good? Yeah, I mean, there's no. The, this is this was complete something completely good. There's no denying that. There's absolutely no denying that. And whoever started this and everybody that com, com, contributed to this needs to be congratulated. But I, the only thing I'm adding is that don't let people spin this around and use it as a marketing for Islam yeah. because Islam yeah. does not deserve any credit for this bullshit. For right, no, yeah, well, the, 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 for this, I mean, the whole bullshit. Go 
the whole reason that Atheist Republic is giving this story any kind of publicity is because you know we want to show people out there that it's it, that it isn't the religion that makes somebody good because these are these are Muslim people who who are supposed to doctrinally in their dogma hate Jews yet they are overcoming their religious barriers and they are they're they're shining through with the altruism that exists in all humans so it it uh yes all uh, all religions do bad all, all religions do good why because it's not the religion that dictates the morals it's the person um okay so this is okay so uh, Gilbert is saying we should we we should and and do criticize Muslims when they do something wrong in the name of the religion, but at the same time we have to also admit when they do uh, right name of religion uh, rather than trying to come up with possible conspiracies on why they did this with no evidence or deflect by bringing up something else like whether they recognize Israel. Uh, which has nothing to do with them helping fellow Americans. That's what uh, theists often do, uh, deflect or dismiss facts. We shouldn't. Um, I mean, everybody does that, not just theists. But no, right. I agree I agree with that, except I don't, I don't agree that this is in the name of religion. I think this yep. is, was in the name of humanity, not in the name sure. of religion. This has nothing to do with their religion. This is because they were good, kind people. Right. Well, the the only reason that I bring it up is because they did it on behalf of an organization that is a a Muslim Christian organization. Like their 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 whole message promotes uh, unity and uh, uh, in, in, you know between religions. So this was definitely something that was good for for their for their right. uh, what, organization. What? But their but their organization from the beginning has been anti-Islam as far as their message goes. No, yeah, and what I'm saying is that the source of, even though they're a Muslim organization, the source of this cannot be traced into anything in Islam. The source of right. this is their yes. kindness and their humanity. That's what. Yes, exactly. Atheist Republic's mission is to give atheists around the world a louder voice. In order for us to be able to continue the Atheist Republic, we need your help. If we reach 100 patrons, we'll finally be able to afford all our costs. Help us get there.